Hey guys, it's Blue KQ with another video. This match I'm in my Amagi. We've got two clan mates, Mizendiz and Lightning Avenger, are both in their Kutuzovs. And we're on the map Sea of Fortune in domination mode. I recorded this video to demonstrate why you shouldn't give up on your team. Sometimes you'll see teams that when they lose a destroyer or they get down on cap points or they get down in overall score points, they'll start to uh, implode on themselves. Uh, negative chat and change in mentality I guess to uh, from a from team play to I'll get what I can for myself at the start of this match uh, in voice comms my division already decided that we wanted to stop any flank from coming up on the east side of that island on the on the outside of Cap C so we're focused on looking for ships that are headed that direction Usually there's a destroyer or uh, um, a cru fast cruiser followed by a fast battleship that decide they want to make that flank and start attacking the northern team from that from uh, that's that far side or even flank them all together and get around behind them. In this case, the Baltimore is almost to that island. I take a quick snapshot at this Kiev, hoping to either do a little bit of damage or at least reset the cap points to make that cap take a little bit longer unfortunately i didn't aim well enough and missed but as he leaves the cap point altogether he's less of a priority and i'm going to start focusing on that iowa uh, and maybe get some shots on him before he gets to the island it's a uh, soft-sided battleship traveling in a fairly straight line as fast as he can to try to get around behind us so it might be too easy of a shot and end up with a citadel and two pens and a quick 18,000 damage. I'm going to start turning now. I want to avoid the incoming shots from the Kutuzov that's down there and the Turpits. And set up my guns to shoot at the Baltimore. Uh, I'm not worried about the Iowa, of course, because uh, there's a big island between us. Here come his shots. And, you know, since I was turning, he missed. There's the Baltimore popped up for just a second. It looks like he's starting to turn, so maybe we've already accomplished what we wanted to in that he is not going to continue his push north and come around and flank us. I spot him. He's running away from me already. I put a couple shots out on his side, hoping that he's going to turn one way or the other. Uh, if he turned and sort of headed north, I'd hit him really hard. Uh, he turned to the south and put his the aft end of his ship in the way of those shells, so I still got 11,000 on him. He's running away and presenting a pretty small target, so I want to change my focus and see if I can't uh, hit somebody that's a little closer to me. That Kutuzov is sailing uh, alongside the island, so he's broadside to me, but every time I go to look at him, he disappears, and I don't want to shoot the island. I'm briefly spotted right here, which means the uh, Iowa is out from behind the island, but I can't see him right now. Um, so I'm going to try to duck behind that smoke, use the smoke to hide me from the Iowa and the Kutuzov coming up, and then hopefully get close to this island so that uh, I limit the amount of time I'm in an exposed position. Looks like the Iowa's going pretty slow, so I shoot at him as if he's going slow. Unfortunately, he starts speeding up and a little quicker than I anticipated. So these shots are a little too far behind, and I get one deflection. The Baltimore pop back up. Looks like he's coming back over, uh, headed west. But this Kutuzov's a lot closer. And even if he turns to put his bow towards me, my guns are a lot bigger than his armor. Uh, and so I can still pen him from the front. I want to see what I can do with that before I start uh, making a turn. So I slow down here, get my guns reloaded. And put my guns on him. The enemy team has taken the lead. Okay, quick uh, four pens for 13,000 damage. Now I'm going to turn. I want to get going, get some forward momentum going so I can turn and not be broadside to this Iowa when he comes around the corner or when I come around the corner. So I'm trying to turn as hard left as I can. Get my guns pointed backwards at him. And I thought somebody was going to finish the Kutuzov, but they didn't. So I'm going to take one gun and take his last few hundred health and put the rest of the guns on the Iowa. 
So finished him off and 4,700 damage on the Iowa. I'm going to keep turning here because A, I don't want to run aground and B, I want to angle the side of my ship so if the Iowa decides he wants to shoot at me, uh, he's not shooting at a flat target. He's got to turn to go around the Kutuzov hole that's sinking there in front of him, otherwise he'll get stuck. So that opens him up a little broader for me to get these shots off right here. And while he's still angled, uh, still going to do a, a decent amount of damage, 6,600. Now he's going to turn to try to put his nose towards me and to get behind that island to, to use it for cover. So it's not going to be a great target for me to shoot at. I'm trying to get my gun set up as if he comes around the backside of that island, I might be able to shoot at him some more. But uh, the Baltimore pops up broadside down there at cap point C, and he's a little juicier of a target. He's com coming at me a little bit, so I, I aim in and down uh, below his waterline hoping that he will meet those shells. Uh, looks like I didn't lead him enough, so I only got a couple of overpens on him. He's headed for that smoke that the Kiev laid for him, so I'm gonna try to get this shot off before he gets there. Oh, he's still visible, he's turning a little bit uh, to try to get into that smoke cloud and looks like somebody hits him pretty hard and then I managed to get a couple of penetrations on him. Looking at the map, the team on the west side is starting to get pushed a little bit but they've got him contained so far so I, we've uh, eliminated the threat of the flank so I'm gonna try to move directly south and cap point C, attack the two ships that are down there and start getting some of those points back for us. We're now down all three cap points um, and us almost uh, half the point total uh, that the other team has. So Bismarck comes in, he uses his uh, hydroacoustic search to identify those ships. They finally got close enough to him to make it work, but it was uh, a little late in the cycle. So uh, I got a couple more shots on that Baltimore. I thought I might be able to finish him off, but clearly didn't. But the, uh, my uh, division mate, Kutuzov, managed to finish off that, uh, the Baltimore. So now the, the Kiev is the only ship over there. Those torpedoes aren't going to reach me, but it, he did manage to kill the Bismarck. So now I'm the only one over there, uh, uh, and I want to uh, punish that destroyer for running aground. Uh, he's slow going backwards, managed to get a couple hits on him and, and uh, take away most of his health. He's still burning. So even though those shots missed him, uh, and those shots missed him, he's going to die to the Bismarck fire. So now I know I'm the only ship over here. I'm definitely going to start working on capping Domination Point C. And I'm looking at that Turpitz, who's about to come around the island right next to my division mate, Mizendiz. I got all my guns loaded up. I'm looking for where's his bow at so that I can see where he is. Uh, is, is generally headed and uh, put this salvo out on him. He's got torpedoes coming so he can't turn yet and I <clears throat> managed to hit him for 12,000. Here's where the team starts imploding on itself. Negative chat, you know. Why do we got a, a Bismarck all the way on the border? Why is a, de a destroyer all the way up on the border? You know, that, that destroyer is working on a North Carolina and a Tago and a Turpitz. He's not in a, a great situation. So he's being pushed out uh, by those ships. Uh, I'm sure he's doing what he can. Uh, even if he's not, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt that he's doing his best or what he thinks is the best. And, and I'm going to try to take on this Turpitz for my teammate, uh, keep him safe here. Torpedoes are already on the way. The Turpitz is bow in on us, on me, but he's uh, he's gonna start turning out. And uh, I think he's gonna die to those torpedoes, but I wanna put this salvo out just in case, uh, take away any opportunity he has to, to continue being a problem for my team. 
sure enough the torpedoes get him so I'm capping point C uh, Mizendiz is moving south now I tell him go ahead and head over to B and give him a little warning that there's probably going to be a Fletcher popping up around the corner taking a look at that Otago uh, can't quite shoot him yet I'm not spotted so that's a good thing I'm thinking about taking that shot I'm worried about the Fletcher out in front of us and just as I'm about to take that shot, it looks like he's going to turn. So I'm going to wait and see where the Otago goes. The enemy is about to win. When that Otago pops back up, he's going more broadside to me now. So I'm going to take that shot and then uh, focus on the, the destroyer in front of me. The Fletcher pops up. I knew he was there because I was spotted. Managed to get a lucky uh, kill on that uh, Otago, but now that's one less ship for my team to worry about. Mizendis hammers the Fletcher pretty hard with his first salvo, kills him with his second salvo. And even though we're now down 250 points to 635 points, we've capped point C. We're going to work on point B, and there's only two enemy ships left. So even though members of our team were concerned that this wasn't uh, this match wasn't going to turn out well uh, we've certainly turned the tide now I got these incoming torpedoes from from the Fletcher I was pointed at him already presenting a pretty small uh, target so wasn't worried about it and sure enough they missed got a good hit from a, a pretty good distance on that North Carolina 7700 he's only got uh, 26,000 health left this turpitz is um, not presenting a, a great target for me and he's ducking behind that island, so I'm going to take this next shot again and shoot at the Carolina. Mizendiz gets me with a little love tap as I'm sailing by him. And that dispersion is uh, not going to help me when it comes to um, doing a lot of damage on that battleship. It's at this point where I'm, I'm trying to decide, should I continue through to Cap A? or should I just finish off these two battleships? Uh, again, point totals an issue. He's got almost 700, we have 315 now. Um, we're capping points faster than, than they are, but I don't think we can, we can do it. So I decide, let's go ahead and just fight it out. We'll kill these last two ships. We only have six and a half minutes anyway. So unfortunately, I make that decision a little late and I can't make a nice clean turn here. Uh, I don't want to go around the island and take me out of the battle. So I decided, you know what, let's just turn. We'll run aground, we'll start backing up, and uh, focus on this turpitz that's really close. Run aground for an instant stop, start backing up right away so that I can get my guns on this turpitz. Uh, I, I, that rock spit I'm aiming at right there is going to prevent him from putting torpedoes right on me so I want to try to shoot him before he can get his torpedoes off I'm backing up and he's about to pop around the corner and there's his bow take as early as a shot as I dare and do 19,000 damage but don't quite kill him secondaries start lighting off and his main guns haven't shot anybody especially my uh, Kuzo partner next to me, so I'm sure that his torpedoes are being launched right now. So I want to stop and start going forward again so that if his torpedoes were aimed at me, they're going to now pass behind me. And I'm going to work on getting my guns focused on this North Carolina. The Missouri just hit the North Carolina pretty hard. And my shots get a, a lucky citadel to finish him off. Taking a look at the final results screen, I got finished with 149,000 damage and four kills. Confederate and the close quarters expert. With the first win bonuses and other modifiers, I ended up with 11,000 XP for that battle. Taking a look at the team listings, Mizendis and I did pretty well that match. I ended up with 2,480 base XP and he ended up with just over 2,000 base XP and taking a look at the final detailed results screen not that impressive on this damage total uh, the four ships I sunk are all 20,000 or less total damage uh, but what I did find remarkable was of the 900,000 potential damage fired at me only 11,895 actual damage was taken that match anyway guys I hope you like the video 
be sure to hit thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and from other games. Take care. Have a good night.